there's a quite a few things we need to do here to help our scholars be successful with this process. And the first thing is to help our teachers to be successful with it. Um, so one was teaching the rubric. So there was a rubric developed to help us score the, um, the written portion of the project. So it was a ma matter of calibration and professional development to help our teachers get up to speed with what the rubric was, push back, get some understanding, make some tweaks to it so that it fits uh, us at, at, at Oakland High. Um, we've also had to create some, to use professional development time, particularly in the last month or so, uh, near the end of the spring semester, uh, for reading of the paper. So after the English teacher uh, scores it, then we have two teachers read it. So we have all of our staff, all of our teachers in one large room with stacks and stacks of multiple copies of their senior project um, papers and everyone scoring them based on the rubric. Um, and that's an intense process. Uh, every paper gets read twice. If there's uh, a significant degree of difference between the two scorings, then they have to go back at it again and reread the paper and get to a common uh, score um, for their papers. Um, and each individual pathway goes about it just slightly different. So you have to um, give the directors of those pathways and the teachers in those pathways opportunities to look at how they want to tweak the, the senior project process, the, the capstone, um, so that it meets the, uh, the needs and interests of each individual pathway. 